are currently on your tour. It is called, I love the name, Silly Silly Fun Boy. Yes, Silly Silly Fun Boy. How did you come up with the name? Thank you. Aww. Because I'm a silly, silly fun yeah, boy. You are. Okay. Yeah. You are silly. I love being fun, fun. I love being silly. And I want people to know what they're coming to when they come to see me do stand up. And I always like to remind people that uh, being silly and being fun is free. It's like a free gift. Absolutely. <laughs> free absolutely. Gift. I love that. But people always act like, I don't know. That's what I love about it. Pete Holmes. Right That's there. right. Silly, silly fun boy. I love it. If you went on tour, what would your tour be called? Well, first of all, I never go on tour. Okay. Doing stand up <laughs> because that is an art form that I respect. Mm -hmm. uh, however, if I uh, did, I'd probably just call it bald. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I mean, why just, why, why, uh... You're more than that. You're so much am more I? than you're, that. You're am I you mustachioed? Mean, <laughs> when you say bald, are we talking your my pubic head. region? My head. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, I wish. I what? wish that were bald. So many people just nodded. Yes, same. Yeah. No, so, Rob, so many people just walked out. <laughs> Rob, you're almost done with season one of your CBS hit <laughs> show, The Unicorn. Congratulations. <laughs> Is you've kind of been live tweeting the show, especially right. your family's reactions. That's right. I want to point to one specific tweet. Go Can ahead. we pull it up here? Talk me through this year. Oh, yikes. The whole family <laughs> laughed at the idea of ha me having sex with Michaela Watkins, <laughs> which is weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know which is the weird part. Um, however, our characters have a very sex positive relationship, which I think is a very odd thing for a CBS comedy. But Still, my mother really got a kick out of the idea of her and I having sex. My wife doesn't get the same kick out of it. <laughs> this, this is so interesting because, speaking of your family, you're both dads, correct? How many, how many That's kids? Right. I have two kids, 13 and 11. A and you? I have a 14 month old. Okay, I love this. So, because, you know, I'm. Aww. I think I win. You win. <laughs> you win. You definitely win. As you I... have two Uber drivers. I have a, <laughs> I have a baby. <laughs> As I'm getting older, this is a serious question. As I'm getting older, you know, and I'm becoming a dad, is what I'm getting. As I'm getting older, I always want to ask dads this. What comes first, being a dad or dad jokes? Do you just feel in your life when you're at a point, you're like, oh, I need to start making dad jokes I've now. been the, a connoisseur of dad jokes my entire life. Oh, really? I've also looked like this. I just look like <laughs> a good guy. Yeah. Way before I had kids. Actually, the first person to diagnose that was, was John Mulaney. He and I were on tour together. This is... 15 years ago, maybe, and we were checking into a hotel, and the person behind the counter goes, uh, okay, one of the rooms I have is a non-smoking queen, mm -hmm. and I, w <laughs> I went, that's me! <laughs> Cigarettes, P.U. <laughs> and, uh, see, dad jokes are the best. That's a good one. And Mulaney went, you're a dad. <laughs> I love that so much. 